Welcome to Geography GCSE at the Hurlingham Academy. This video aims to tell you about the content, structure and assessment of the course. At Hurlingham we study the EdXLB specification. The course consists of three units of study. Unit 1, Global Geographical Issues, Unit 2, UK Geographical Issues and Unit 3, People and Environment Issues which also includes making geographical decisions. Unit 1, Global Geographical Issues, consists of three topics. The first one, Topic 1, Hazardous Earth, looks at studying climate and extreme weather as well as plate tectonics. Topic 2, Development Dynamics, looks into global inequality and also focusing on the development of an emerging country and we have chosen India. And finally, Topic 3, Challenges of an Urbanising World. This looks at rapid urban change in our world today and the variations in the quality of life around our world. Our second unit is Unit 2, UK Geographical Issues. This also consists of three topics. Topic 4, the UK's evolving physical landscapes, which looks at the UK landscapes in general before dividing off into looking at coastal landscapes and also rivers. Topic 5, following on from that, the UK's evolving human landscapes, looks at changing of people and places in the UK in both urban and rural settings. And we do study one UK city in, in detail, and we have chosen London. Then finally, we look at topic 6, which is the opportunity to study fieldwork, geographical investigations. This involves going, to, going on a residential course of fieldwork to the coast in Essex and also fieldwork closer to home in an urban area local to the school in Parsons Green. The final component is Unit 3, People and Environmental Issues Making Geographical Decisions. The topics for this are Topic 7, People and the Biosphere, which looks at ecosystems and also how people use resources around our world. Topic 8 looks at forests under threat with a particular focus on the tropical rainforest biome and the taiga biome. And finally, Topic 9, Consuming Energy Resources, which looks at energy resources in general as well as the issue of energy security throughout our world. As well as having questions about all these three topics as studied in lessons, this paper also has a resource booklet accompanying it and some questions are based on information from this. The final part of this paper is a question that involves making a geographical decision based on one of the themes referring to sources from the booklet. Students are taught how to prepare for this to ensure they write an excellently structured answer using all the resources necessary to provide a well-balanced and argued point of view. The assessment for this course is split into three papers, one for each unit. As you can see from the table here, the length of the exam is 1 hour 30 minutes for each of the three papers, and marks and percentage of final marks awarded are the same for units 1 and 2. Unit 3 differs slightly as it is worth less marks and therefore less of a percentage of the final grade, but has the same time allocation. This is to allow students enough time to read through the resource booklet carefully so they can plan how best to use information from there to support their answers. So, Geography GCSE is a really great course with lots of opportunities for learning through reading, writing, fieldwork, discussion and debate and we really hope that lots of students choose it. If you would like any more information about the course or have specific questions, please do get in touch with either myself, Miss Coulson or Miss Quinton. Thank you for watching.